Hi everyone, it's Richard at Outfins. Today I want to cover an interesting mini flash crash in altcoins that happened uh, yesterday. <clears throat> um, I believe it was triggered by a recent news that the SEC, the Security Exchange Commission in the US, began an investigation into a Ripple XRP, which is one of the top altcoins by market cap and has, a very, has had a very wild um, ride. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at it. And um, I think there is a concern that uh, the, the reason that SEC, here's XRP right here, we're on the daily graph. <clears throat> let's take a look at a bigger picture here. Uh, it had a tremendous run recently. Uh, there were a few factors. One of them was that there was uh, an airdrop dissipated for all the XRP holders. Also, um, XRP announced uh, a buyback uh, because overall XRP has had a very inflationary um, uh, structure, con constantly just selling more XRP into the market. But recently they announced a buyback and um, and as you can see, it's really all melted down just in the last couple of days on the news of the SEC investigation. The, the fear is that if SEC finds Ripple um, a, a, to be a security, meaning it, um, it should be regulated by the U.S. Uh, SEC and investment related regulations, and then, uh, then other altcoins could be at risk as well. So it could be a dangerous precedent, precedent for other altcoins. And I believe that that was the reason why some of the altcoins had had a bit of a, like I mentioned, the flash crash. If you look at, uh, for example, the next one down here, Bitcoin Cash, um, had a big gap down, as you can see. Let's go actually to uh, an hourly time frame, uh, time interval. And you can see it better, particularly it had been weak really all day long and particularly around this point um, at 10 o'clock in the evening European time. Uh, it had a big wick down and then and then it found, uh, found a floor here. And we can see that similarly for Ethereum also the same hour, big wick down all the way to 540, 550. I mean just wild wild action here on big volume similarly link chain link even wilder swing here as you can see it was trading around 11 and then dipped all the way down to let's see the low was 855 before rebounding i mean if you bought it there you made some real nice quick uh, 40 percent within an hour or two let's look at litecoin similarly a uh, big wick right here down all the way to 95 before we rebounded now it's trading at 108 and now let's look at cardano same big dip here and it's recovered so hopefully we saw the worst of of it of the impact uh, for altcoins uh, but um, what i will do here is just in case we get another one of these dips, I'm gonna set a couple of limit buys at those levels for coins that I would like to own or add to my positions. And, and with in, in times of uncertainty, I like to rely on some of the top coins, the Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and even Litecoin. Those are also four coins that, um, that some of the um, card issuers or digital neobanks or digital wallet issuers like PayPal and others are focusing on. So I, I prefer to be in coins that I know there's going to be naturally demand for uh, from, you know, pay, PayPal has over 360 million members around the world and they're just opening up um, these users to these four coins specifically that I mentioned, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin and um, and the fourth one was Ethereum. So I, I, I do believe that there's going to be some natural demand and tailwinds for these four coins. So I would like to add in some, some cases, add to my positions, in some cases actually open up. I don't own any Litecoin. I should. 
um, and I probably don't own enough Ethereum. I bought some yesterday at 616 and I'm going to buy some uh, maybe even uh, you know at 550, 560 where it dipped yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, place an order. Let's go ahead and find out first uh, where are some, well let's go ahead and to go to my portfolio or my uh, the trade tab. Uh, I need to find out where I have some spare change uh, to allocate to these positions. Uh, I like to look at my balances in a summary table. That way I have the individual coins summaries um, and then I can dig in. So I have Tether, not very much at this point available. I have some on Binance. Okay, we can use that balance. And I also have some USD dollar uh, balance, most of it on Kraken. So Binance and Kraken. So let's go ahead and uh, in fact, go ahead and use my Kraken, I'm sorry, balance, uh, Binance balance in USDT to uh, buy some Ethereum or at least place a limit buy order for Ethereum right here. And my uh, my order uh, form will get pre-filled with the information. I'm going to look at the chart again, and uh, as you can see, yesterday, yesterday the low was 551. Mm, um, that happens to be, I'd say, there's a pretty decent support level at 600. In fact, that was broken yesterday. Uh, and the next one was about 550. So I'm going to place a limit buy order. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but maybe closer to that 550, let's just say 560 and average down my position. Um, so let's go ahead and say limit buy. Let's take a look at the order book right now. It's trading around 592. The, um, spreads are tight so there's really good liquidity here on on binance uh, for this particular pair and uh, i'm going to put a limit buy put in the best price i want to buy the max i can get two and a half about two and a half worth uh, of ethereum uh, let's refresh the best price let's oops that's no 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 <laughs> No, I want to buy it at 560, right? My goodness, I almost made a mistake here. So I want to put the limit price at 560, slightly above yesterday's low of 555, I think it was. Let's go ahead and place this limit order. It's going to go into my open orders and sit there until a such dip happens again, if it happens at all. And the other position uh, I wanted to initiate actually is, is um, Litecoin. I don't own Litecoin at this point. Um, I still have some available USD balance on Kraken. So let's go ahead and initiate a trade or a, a limit buy order for Litecoin versus USD on Kraken exchange. My order form was pre-filled. Let's look at that chart as well. Yesterday's action, the low was at $95.73. If I look at some of the uh, support levels, around 90 is where I'd say there's pretty decent support. It was a resistance and that turned into support now. So the low was 95. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put it at 95 and change or just straight 95. It's not going to be quite at support, but it's still going to be a great entry point in what is otherwise a very, uh, a, a coin that's been trending up. Uh, quite uh, quite strongly as you can see we have short-term medium-term and long-term trend are all strong up and it is clearly not overbought or oversold it's just neutral so great um, let's go ahead and set a limit buy order at the uh, 90 let's just call let's just say $95 price quantity uh, let's buy about uh, $1,500 worth so that will be about 15 li uh, Litecoins at this price on Kraken. So let's go ahead and place their order. And that order will also go into my open orders book. 
Okay, there it is. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you will be interesting is to see which coins did not really get affected yesterday as much. <clears throat> and I will do that by looking at those coins that uh, that uh, made a new high. New high. There we go. I want to say it's new high it's greater than zero so any kind of new high so I add to I add that filter and I see that I have 38 uh, uh, coins that made a new high I'm going to also limit to the coins that have some decent volume so about at least a hundred thousand dollars worth of um, of a trading volume in the last 24 hours so I um, I can actually save this filter as coins with new highs and that's new highs in the last 24 hours so go ahead and uh, and by the way you can come back to that filter when if you saved it you can come back to this filter under saved filters you will have it right here right so I can then apply this filter again <clears throat> also, I can create an alert for this filter. Coins making new highs. Alert. And get uh, alerted with, uh, with such coins. And as you can see, uh, not surprisingly, some of the coins that made some new highs. Let's go ahead. Uh, here's Monero. Uh, te uh, Terra. Celsius. I mean, these guys have been. These coins have been very strong gainers. Uh, silica as well. So uh, these could be also good candidates to look into. These are coins that have had tremendous strength and momentum. And momentum buying is is one of the uh, well proven investment techniques. Um, is you buy the winners. The winners tend to continue to be the winners. And then lastly, I'll show you where you can check the alerts. You will get emails and email notifications for, um, for your alerts under the alerts management section. For again, here is the uh, coins making new highs. Um, you could create that alert and that screen yourself uh, as well. I hope that helps. Good luck trading. Cheers.